I, I, I built this wall but it, it was upside down it didn't quite work and then I built it again and it just fell over so I built it a third time which was good until it spontaneously caught fire which I don't think was what people really intended well hello everyone and welcome back here to the room world in the last episode Wendy the barbarian was expelled from a tribe for saying nasty things about the witch doctor's cat but she seems to have landed on her feet okay, which is kind of ironic if you ask me. And she has a little setup here in the corner of the planet Gullen. She's got a little farm going on. She's finally, finally managed to build a wall. And she's done nasty things to an alpaca. What's going to happen now? Let's watch and find out, shall we? Clean up the blood. You do this, Wendy. Can you? Can you? Can you? Oh, wonderful job! Right, let's add a bill there. Put your creature. Do forever. And get the radius of that down a bit, so you don't wander off across the map. Okay, that'll give us some nice meat and hide. Absolutely brilliant start. All right. And that meat, I don't want you eating it raw, so let's make a campfire, shall we? Um, temperature, yes. Okay, so we'll put a campfire in there. Excellent. And add bill. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is make pemmican. In fact, let's pause the game so let's get this right because this wants to be a bit complicated. Okay, so do until you have X. Let's go into the details here. Do until you have X. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it until we have a thousand pemmican. And that's going to be our winter reserve. So whenever you have meat and veg, make pemmican. So close that one. Our second bill. Oh, actually. Again, I don't want people wandering across the map. So let's pull that down. There we go. Our second bill is cook a simple meal. Okay, which do until you have do until you have um, four. There we go. And we shall not use meat for that. Actually, no, we should only use meat for that. We should not use veg. And we need to uh, now take human meat off of this. Uh, okay, so we'll turn human meat off there. But anything else, let's have, a, let's, have, let's have a nice Yorkshire Terrier burger. Why not? So uh, the way this is going to work is we'll make pannikin we got there. We will cook a simple meal with meat um, until we have four. And then... We will cook a simple meal. Uh, we'll do the details here. Do until you have X. We'll turn meat off on that one. And we'll just have vegetarian. And yeah, and eggs. And let's turn insect jelly off because apparently that doesn't cook very well. We'll do that on the other one in just a second. So we'll do that again. All right, until we have four. Right, now. Logic here is that I, when I've got meat and veg, I want to make pemmican. Uh, pemmican is important because that's going to keep us alive during the winter. Uh, when um, I just have meat, I want to cook simple meals. I want those simple meals uh, for the short term because the meat's going to rot fairly fast. And if I if I don't have enough simple meals and I just have veg, then I'll stock them up with vegetarian simple meals. But I want to save vegeta uh, vegetables for making pemmican. So there we go, that's our, our three bills there. So we've got 20 alpaca hide. What's your 
gear like at the moment. So you've got normal cloth tribal wear. And how does that protect you? So that's insulation up to minus 10. That's actually quite good really, isn't it? So that's good enough as it is. We'll leave that there. And our short bow is normal. But what I think I'm going to do is... Just put another one in the queue there like that. So... Uh, we can carry on making short bows and we can destroy ones that we don't like or just leave them out in the range of rot or something like that. So that's that. Let's let that, that Wendy get on with um, doing some cooking, which she will do after she's had a little relax, stood there in the rain. Um, after that, I think I want some more wood. So let's get uh, chop wood. These trees are already. Yeah, okay, those are no good. Uh, that one's alright. Okay, so that gives us a few more trees. That'll clear out some of the oil of this area. And we should get the roof done across here. Come on, Wendy, you've got stuff to do. There we go, that's good. So you'll clear those out, you'll cook, then you'll haul, and that should see you through the rest of the day, I should imagine. Uh, it is morning once again. The game is reminding me we do need defences. Um, I think we need to get some restrictions going on here, and what I think we're going to do is... Uh, we'll start the day with a couple hours of joy, and then we'll do anything, but we'll work through... like that and we'll open up the evening to doing anything so we'll have a solid bit of work at the start of the day there's Wendy she's enjoying a, a bit in the morning and she's off hunting let's see how she does against this evil tortoise uh, she's looking around going, what's going on there, got over my tortoise fears. Excellent. Okay, while you're making breakfast and butchering that, that's good. Let's get um, a, a room set up, shall we? So, structure, door, there. And we'll put some walls up. I think there will do. In fact, let's square this out a little bit like that. There we go. This will be our base uh, to start off with. So let's get a bit of light in here. Like that. Get rid of that tree because we're not going to need it. Um, I think we we'll keep the butchering down there, but we will move. We will put a bed in here to start off with. Um, so wooden bed. Just stick it in the corner there like that, and let's get ourselves a little table. the dining chairs, a bit more than we need at the moment but we've got plenty of wood and let's get that built ok temperatures in the day is going up a lot oh is this tortoise food, yeah, ok this, this tortoise meat is going to last a day it's about as much as I expected that's pretty good. The fire has got plenty of fuel in it still. This is oh, this is coming together quite nicely. How did the bed turn out? A normal bed. I'm quite happy with that. It's really interesting to see how these chairs turn out. Something my woodwork teacher taught me as a kid is uh, build stalls, not chairs, because three legs don't wobble. How are you going to do? How are you going to do? Shoddy. Okay, I'm going to do with that. But 
so once we get this in we put a roof on it and we can then get to get some cooling in here which is going to be important for us uh, this day is going to be quite nice uh, strawberries are growing nicely they're nearly halfway done the potatoes are a long way done and yeah about a fifth of the way there with the hill root I can live with that how did these turn out oh, awful What's the difference between a shoddy and an awful one? Okay, so cover effectiveness, not interesting. Comfort, 0.49. Market value, $60. And this one is... Comfort, 0.28. Oh, beauty. It actually makes the room worse by being in it. And market, $40. Okay, so let's deconstruct that one because that's actually harming the room. Uh, yeah, Wendy's made herself something to eat and she's cooking up. It's good to use the last of the alpaca. Yeah, that's got that room sorted out nicely. So deconstruct that chair. And please all the Oh yeah, that short stuff. Okay. So it looks like tree chopping is the order of the day soon as well. Excellent. So that room came together quite nicely, I think. Um, one more bush to get some fruit off. That's tomorrow's breakfast sorted out. Um, Wendy, did you get you? You went back to your sleeping spot, did you? Okay, so uh, deconstruct that. There we go. Right, and then sleep at a proper bed. There, you'll feel better for that. Now, what can we give you to hunt? Ooh, yes, person. I forgot about person. Um, okay, hunt the hunt the raccoon. But let's trade with price first. See if we can find anything at all in there. Right. So we have no money. We could sell our simple meals, and we do actually, we could replace those quite easily. So let's do that. There we go. So that gives us a little bit of money. Uh, not really enough to get uh, the rape bow, for example, or even a synth thread button down shirt of poor quality. But we could get one piece of medicine if we wanted to, one component if we wanted it. Or save the money. I think we're going to get one component that gives us that opens up an opportunity. So there we go. One component in exchange for four meals, a bit of silver left over, and that is that's a good deal. And back to bed for you, Wendy. Excellent. Okay, here we go. First thing in the morning, Wendy's having a little bit of a wander around her domain, relaxing, letting the world go by. How's our food coming along? nearly halfway grown on the strawberry plants over a third on the potatoes that's good still not quite 20 percent on the heel root i think we can live with that so some strawberries for breakfast very nice it is too just harvest those berries and then go off and do some hunting Fortunately, there's still lots of creatures around. There we go. And our visitor has left, leaving behind a component. I'm not complaining about that. There we go. Excellent. So, feed the fire. And getting wood, I think, is going to be an important part of our day today. Let's just get the basics out of the way. start to cook there so chop wood is any of this old enough to be mature enough to be chopped yet no no so it looks like we're gonna have to start clearing out out here doesn't it so mm. oh joy there's a bear let's hope he's not hungry right we'll just take that for now Got a 
no food, but we'll get rid of that quickly. Uh, we still we have that raccoon cork, so that raccoon cork will kill. Will feed us for the day tomorrow. If you're still floating around, we'll get rid of this turkey. Uh, the rat. They tend to be really fun. But there's rabbits. There's, there's there's loads and loads of little creatures here for us to to hunt. So we're all right for a little while for that. And yeah, we're about halfway to getting our first crop in, which is great for us as well. Uh, let's just speed. Oh, we're on full speed. Let's just... Ooh, bad animal. The local tortoise has gone mad. How far away are you from us? You are forever away from us, but I just imagine we better deal with you because the last thing I want to do is uh, yeah, let's put you to hunt. And Wendy prioritize hunting that tortoise. It's uh, it's out of our usual routine, but in three or four weeks time that's going to give us a nasty shock and I don't want that to happen it means we're going to have to wander a fair bit but we'll be alright off you go Wendy in the meantime we've got plenty of food nice little room a bed an awful awful table which we shall have to replace but we've got wood to do it now something going on out there Right, where's our mad tortoise gone? That's our man hunter. Okay. There we go. Right. So maddened, he just walked straight past us. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to draft you to do this, am I? Right, fire at the tortoise. Get closer and fire at the tortoise. Yeah. Okay. Go here and fire at the tortoise. <laughs> He's determined to go and uh, knock on our door, isn't he? Yay! Ah, he's just noticed. Okay. Yeah, I think we we probably slowed him because that's really really important when fighting the sawtooth. You've got to slow him first, otherwise they'll be on you in a second. It's it's quite scary to watch, really. Are you gonna get another shot? You did. Uh, back away. Remember which tortoise you're shooting at, because the last thing you want is a herd of them. Marching slowly in the next room to watch it. Oh, what a... You took a hit. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That is just embarrassing. All right, fire at tortoise. Get closer. Oh, it's well past your bedtime. Come on, you can do it. It's you know, I'm getting flashbacks yet again. This is this is this is how my guy died last time. Wendy, how you doing? Okay, so ten percent. You're actually gonna be fine. I'm not gonna worry about this one. This is not gonna get infected. Um okay, so undraft you. And pull, pull the tortoise. There we go. Consume the simple meal. Oh, that's because the last thing we want to do is just leave it out there. And then hold the tortoise. There we go. Right. 
So, all told, not a bad day. Got some of the things we wanted done. We've overcome our fear of tortoises. And we've got plenty of meat for tomorrow, so I'm not going to bother hunting in the morning. Because, well, actually what we need to do is eat some of this. Okay, so there's our pemmican. We started making pemmican when I wasn't looking. I'm going to forbid that pile because I don't want that eaten until we actually have uh, winter upon, upon us. That's our, uh, our winter supply now. What's the temperature like in here? 23. Okay, so it's starting to get a bit warm in here. So we're going to build a passive cooler. We'll just stick that in the corner there. Like that. 